Hello and welcome everyone. It is Monday, March 5th, 2018. Just got a quick heads up uh, on a comic that came out last Wednesday and then I'm going to talk about some uh, upcoming books here. While everybody's looking at this amazing Spider-Man and Thanos at the moment, you may want to uh, get some orders in because they're books that come out in May over the next couple of months. So uh, the book that came out on Wednesday was, uh, I don't have it. You're going to see an image on the screen. It is Moon Girl 28. And I have to give a big shout out to Dale Valiant Horton, CBSI. For, he did a really good article on this. And uh, I completely, my shop doesn't bring it in. And I remember seeing this uh, in the previews and I didn't even look at it, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't, I'm not a big Moon Girl fan and most people aren't, uh, as you'll, you'll hear about the print run in a minute. Um, but it is the first appearance of Omnipotentus. It's a new, uh, new character. It's a full appearance, not just a one panel appearance. So it is a first full appearance. Uh, and Omnipotentus is the devourer of universes. Galactus is the devourer of planets, and Silver Surfer is the herald of Galactus. You can almost think of Galactus as the herald to Omnipotentus, or Omnipotentus being the boss of bosses kind of deal. The print run on this is under 6,700. It's 6,600 and something. It's a really, really low print run. There's no variants. There's only the one cover. Um, there's no second prints as far as I understand in the works so it is a really really low print run and if this character goes anywhere that book is going to heat up something awful so I paid 30 bucks for it I just saw this Dale's uh, article yesterday and I immediately went and ordered one off eBay and I being in Canada all my prices are in Canadian so I paid 30 bucks Canadian for the book and shipping so you got to remember whenever you quote a price on what you pay for something you got to include the shipping because if you get a book for 10 bucks and pay 50 bucks for shipping you just paid 60 bucks for that book um anyways that's a really good one i, I would recommend it whether or not you want to spend the money on it that's up to you it's your call but uh if you can find it sitting on the shelf definitely grab it um yeah like say the prices i'm seeing right now on ebay are between 30 and 70 bucks and that just came out on wednesday so uh, and I, like I say, I totally missed it. My shop doesn't bring it in anyways, but anyways, yeah, kudos to Dale uh, Horton on that one. Next up, I just want to talk about a few books coming out, uh, in May. I talked about, uh, Venom. So Venom, that regular series, or cover on the right, this is the, I believe this is the Stegman, or sorry, the Rivera, uh, one for 25 on the left. There is a thousand year old character, like I had mentioned, a uh, villain coming up in this, so it's going to be a good one to get. I don't know what the print runs are going to be on this. They're probably, they're not going to be low like Thanos. It'll probably be in the 50 to 75,000 range, I would expect. There might even be more than that. Um, could be up around 100,000. But there are some variants, and I want to give you, excuse me, the reason I'm bringing this up now is it's still a ways off, and most people aren't really, they're kind of focusing on uh, Red Goblin and Spider-Man and Thanos right now. So if you get into your shop um, and pre-order some of these variants, you should be able to get a copy. So there's a one for tw there's a regular cover. There's a Cooter Young Guns, which you, they can order as many as they want. There's a blank variant. So those three, you should be able to get no problem. There are then a one for twenty five Rivera, which is the one I showed you in the book. There's a one for fifty J Scott Campbell. There's a one for one hundred Stegman Virgin. There's a one for five hundred McFarlane Remastered and a one for one thousand McFarlane Remastered Black and White. So if you're interested in any of those, I would recommend you going into your shops this week um, and pre-ordering those. Tell them, you know, this is what you want. Ask them what they're charging, and if it's if you guys agree to a price, then, then go for it. But yeah, if you want those, you're going to have to order them soon because uh, if you wait till they come out, you're not going to get them because people have already um, ordered them up. So anyways, the next one is, uh, is Spider-Man 800. Now, the reason I'm, this is just so you're aware, this is a $10 cover price on this book. It's a wicked cover. This is a regular cover. Um, I'm getting a few of those. The one I'm really, I've already pre ordered is this uh, Gabriel Delato. It's a one for 25. It is a sweet, that is a kick ass cover. Now, normally I'm not big on ordering um, variant covers. Uh, but when it, you know, at the end of the day, what's in the book determines the price of a comic. Because you can have really hot books with, with good cover, limited um, covers and stuff. And when they first come out, the price is hot. But over time, if there's nothing really interesting, you know, 
of importance in the book, those books will cool off and, and settle quite a bit lower. So you got to be careful with variants. That's my opinion. Um, but I will order for, for you know, first appearances um, or big storylines. I will order some, but I, I'm not huge. Some guys, some people order them all. I don't. Uh, obviously, you can in the background, you see I got Thanos, the Albuquerque variant there, but that's, in my opinion, is a really good one to get. So yeah, that's one you're... I, I mean, I, I'm ordering that one. Well, I, ha I already have ordered it. It's a sweet cover. So for 800, you've got the regular cover. There's a Ramos connecting. There's this one for 25. There's a one for 500 remastered. There's a one for 1,000 remastered black and white and a blank variant. So just giving you a heads up if you're interested in any of those, get into your shop and again, pre-order them. Some shops may ask for deposits but that's up to you and your shop owner to come to an agreement on whatever you want and one more I'm going to recommend um, you think about anyways is Iron Man 600 this is one I'm looking at so um, there's a ton of variants for this one as well and um, interesting thing about this I've got it written down here because I can't remember what it was oh yeah there's a new uh, a huge new villain is being introduced in this one and this one comes out I want to give you the make sure I give you the right date That's May 23rd, so near the end of May. So yeah, 600 is going to be a good one. There's um, Apparently there's five important events taking place in this book. And with a new villain, I'm definitely picking that one up too. So, And just so you're aware, if any of you have these previews, back of the book, they always tell you when the book comes on sale. And the FOC, if you don't know, I'm sure most of you do, but FOC is Final Order Cutoff. So that's the last date that the shop can place their orders before before they can't order anymore so after that date whatever they've got ordered that's what they're getting so if you this is why if you um, aren't getting these preview books or the preview magazine um, you really need to start doing it because they show you what's coming and if there's something interesting that you want you can uh, you know when you have to get your, just think of the usually the final or cutoff is is pretty much a month before the uh, release date so as long as you're in there before a month you're fine that's why now being March, um, these books are coming out in May. It's a good time to get in there and place your order. That's what I do. I let my shop know right off the bat. And a lot of times it's first come, first serve. So as long as you're in there early and you spend money in your shop, you should have no problems. And last thing, I um, just want to talk real quick about this Thanos variant. Uh, this is one I, I picked up. And the only reason I'm bringing it up is, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but he's wearing the gauntlet on his right hand. If you, <laughs> I've never, I haven't heard anybody talk about that. He should be on his left hand, but it's just kind of funny that uh, he's wearing it on his right hand. It's, it's an awesome image, but it's on the wrong hand. But anyways, just throwing that out there. Uh, that's it. Hope, uh, if, hope that helps you out. I will talk to you later. Bye.